Here we are in 3D Studio Max for the modeling part and we're gonna see two part, two ways of modeling our mushroom. The first one gonna be by using the standard primitives, cylinders, spheres, spheres etc. And the second one gonna be with spline modeling. Roughly, spline modeling you're gonna just trace the profile of your mushroom and then apply a lot modifier. But this is not the way we're gonna proceed. Why? Because you're gonna have, we're gonna have some issues. For example, we're gonna have too much poly count. Also, for example, with capping the holes, we're gonna have to deal with geometry, etc. And it's not always easy for the newbies or guys starting with 3D Studio Max. So we're gonna use the standard primitives modeling. It's gonna be easy, very accurate. So accurate, sorry. So let's get started by creating the leg of our mushroom. So pick the cylinder and draw a cylinder right here, okay? Press right click on the move tool and center it on the X. Okay? Nice. Now in one of your views press G J F four and switch here to shade it. Perfect. Now press Z and to maximize your view alt w okay so let's get some modification here so i'm gonna move, change the radius to 25 and the height to 94 and add a cap segment okay perfect i'm gonna convert that to an editable poly and switch back to my fourth views press z to zoom on the object in the fourth view So, for the modeling, we're going to select vertex, uh, vertex mode and select all the vertices in the top and scale them down, okay? But first, we're going to have to enable soft selection, okay? Just let the fall off by default. I think it's going to work well. And then scale it down. Or you can just see the shape of your leg here, okay? So, it's going to be easy so scale it down back to these verts here scale them back down okay these ones I think they are alright sorry for that always scale in top view I really to be sure okay and here make it a bit big here also and always top view right and here we're gonna just move these down okay down like that go back to let's choose vertex uh, edges mode do a ring table soft selection and do connect okay and apply it again activate soft selection and do scale just to have like a perfect shape okay so here he is I'm gonna select this one here this edge on the bottom and do a loop and deactivate soft selection or not just let it activate it and move it up just a bit okay and select the edge here just before the vertex in the center deactivate soft selection and sorry do a loop and then move it down okay something like this finally pick the vertex here and move it down right there perfect pick these two here soft selection scaling something like that okay so perspective view all w to maximize and check your foot it should resemble to this okay i think it's gonna be good we don't have some issues it's perfectly square very nice okay you can try to with norm toggle and it's gonna look fantastic okay so 
I'm gonna just come over here, select edges, activating no box facing and switch to circular selection here, just in the bottom. Uh, in the top, sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, deactivate soft selection and then press Q and select all the edges here. Delete, okay? We're gonna optimize some poly count and then it's gonna be better for the use of norms. Perfect. This is our leg. So uh, back to our four, four views. The, in top view, maximize. Go to create panel, pick sphere. Come here and just do it like that. Just draw sphere. Okay. And right click in the move tool, center it on the X and go to the front view and move the sphere up a bit. Now on the hemisphere, type 0.55 okay 0.55 perspective view I'm not select your two geometries and press Z so that it focuses on them and here you have our your sphere okay I'm gonna take a bit of the radius up and bring the sphere down 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 like that so we have our mushroom it's looking good Maybe pick it a bit big, like that. It's all right. Now, press G again. Okay, actually, there's a glitch in 3D Studio Max. Uh, each time you switch between wireframe and shaded, you're going to have these brackets here. So always press G to, to disable them. Okay, so convert that to an adapter poly. Okay, uh, why I choose 55 is that uh, we're gonna have this edge here which gonna help us for the smooth. I show you later. So again activate the edge selection in all part facing circular selection. Oops, Q and select all the edges here. Okay? And we're gonna do a connect. And then slide edge like fifty five or maybe ninety. Alright. I'm gonna just modify my my shape because the, the actual model doesn't look like that. I'm gonna center it. Okay. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna just squeeze it down like that. Okay. It's not. Oops. Sorry for that. It's not perfectly circular. Circular or spherical. Something like this. And we're gonna modify our geometry a bit. Here, edge. Like here, these two here, loop, front view, and just make them like that. This like this one here, and make it, sorry, yeah, in our back facing. Make it like this. Actually, it's not perfectly circular. It's got some, some irregular shape, so. Oops. I think like that it's pretty cool yes uh, take also here with the edges these two here do a loop convert to vertex select one in the center soft selection 20 front and move it down just to squeeze it as it, we don't have uh, this one here I won't just yes yeah, this is the actual shape of the mushroom. Select it back, uh, go to polygon, selection mode, okay, deactivate soft selection, F3, and then we're gonna bevel. Bevel, again, just you get to the top, okay. I'm aligning my my extrusion with the, the edges here each time. Okay, and okay. Perfect. 
that's really nice. Here, here is our mushroom. It's looking good, nice, soft. Okay, so here, activate our nerves. And as you can see, we have no issues about modeling. You can activate here realistic, so you can see how it does actually react with light. To go to realistic shaded. Deactivate the nervous toggle on each of these, and then we're gonna attach them and rename your model to mushroom one or mushroom big. Okay, that's all. Next, we're gonna create our grass. So we're gonna use here our grassomatic plugin. It's here. Mm, here it is. Okay, Grassomatic will give us the ability to create grass automatically. You can easily download this plugin from maxplugins.de and here you choose the version of your 3D Studio Max. For example, for me it was 2012, I just clicked 2012 and in the plugin search I type grass. You're gonna have your Grassomatic plugin here, you just download it. So, back to 3D Studio Max, we're gonna see how it does actually work. So you just click anywhere and trace whatever you want, rectangle or square. In our case we're gonna pick a square. Okay? Go to front view. Okay? In the modify panel we're gonna have here some settings. This is the display parameter. Uh, here it's for animations okay and here it's the percentage of blades for example here if we have 100 blades we're gonna see 100 blades if we have like one blade we're gonna see one blade if we have 37 37 okay it's the percentage of blades visible in the screen here we have the size and quantity here we have the number of blades as much you add more dense gonna be your pitch okay so here I think for me I use something really dense which is about like let's say 1000 or so maybe higher or more I don't know length just that by default here it's the length of the blades okay here we have 10 variation here on the length etc so you're gonna put it like 30. Here we have the width of the blades. Okay, you can do really thick blades or simply so I'm, or very thin. So I'm now put it to one. Here I have the variation on the length, and here we have the fold. How much your blade is folded? So let's see on top view. It's gonna be more visible. For example, here this is the fold as you can see. Okay. So I'm not put it to default again because it's looking good. Df4. Okay, now we have the grass definition. So here the number of segments here. For example, the more you add, the more uh, the settings coming down will be accurate. For example, I'm gonna put it to seven and then let's see here we have the drop okay how much here for example creating some grass where someone have walked or so something like that i'm not actually let the drop to like 42 here we have some variation okay take it a bit to like 100 percent here we have the taper amount i created like really tapered grass and variation maybe maybe not something like that would be good okay oops sorry variation here maybe like that it's looking good here we have the taper control where you want your tape effect taper effect to be on the top as you can see here or just on the bottom I'll let it on the bottom we have the tilt also which will give you the ability to just change the direction of your grass or the angle of your grass. I'm gonna put it to default. The spin, okay, this is really 
if you are using some specific textures you have also the clumps on so you can create some uh, solid blades and this is what we're gonna use later on and here you have the smoothing you can use any type of smoothing and here the icon visibility and always I choose always hidden okay and then I use some tweaks just to hide our holes here okay so maybe I'm gonna add some grass like to I don't know one uh, one thousand fifty and take the land back to like seven okay that's all right and here we have the wind and placement if you want to activate some wind grass placement here for the icon for example okay and you can also pick a distribution object but not, this is not what we want to do okay so here it is and as you can see it get, there is too much difference in size with our mushroom etc so we cannot modify that later but first of all we have to create all our types of grass before doing anything else okay so let's get started back to create panel grassomatic and create another surface okay nice